we've only been here like two minutes and we're gonna have lunch and uh, and while we're doing that it's a uh, constant traffic <laughs> fake TV is going by holy cow it's crazy it's Mother's Day 2020 Chris and I were gonna go camping but we were not able to leave Friday night so the next best thing was leave Saturday and we took off, packed a lunch, and took the dog, and we took a road trip about an hour and a half away from our place. This video is to show you our experience. It was a lot of fun. The weather was really nice, um, but we weren't expecting what we found. There was a lot of people. So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so here's the lead into this. Uh, the road was perfect. It was great. Beautiful day. We turn off the main road, and here's your standard dirt road. Heads to the signage that told us uh, where we're headed. We know it was about eight miles from the main highway to um, into where the reservoir is on a dirt road. There were a few cars going back and forth. Uh, it's nothing you wouldn't expect on a normal weekend, right? Well, at the beginning of the road, there's like 20 vehicles with the ATV trailers, and there were no ATVs on them, so you know where they're at. Um, we get down the road, and uh, this is where the fun begins. We get over the ridge to where this reservoir is, and uh, here you go. So we're up at a place called Vernon Reservoir. We we're going to come here for Mother's Day to go camping, but we couldn't get out in time. So we decided to take a drive up here and take a look at what it is, just to see. There's nobody on the lake, you say? Yeah, it's freezing. As you can see, there are people everywhere. And man, this place is popular. The reservoir is over here. And there's all kinds of people camped. We're in a spot right now just letting the dog out, but uh, uh, this place is like <laughs> super crowded. Okay, you may be saying to yourself, man, that's not really that busy. We've been to busier places than that. And while that may be true, it's kind of a surprise to us, I guess, because we haven't been out very much. It is a holiday weekend, and many people have been cooped up, so we were taken back, a little bit shocked. Uh, we've seen busier places as well, but it was kind of surprising this is in the middle of nowhere. All right, we've seen enough here at the campground and the reservoir. There's a main road that goes to the reservoir, and it continues on due west. So we're going to get back on that road, head out on it, and find out what else is beyond the campground. So we're going up the road from the reservoir. <laughs> Seeing what else, what else is up here. The rest of the campers hold the camera. this hill after there's just a few other campers right that are here and it looks like camp city I'm not really sure but I'm gonna try to get this video as we come into this town this RV town it is literally crazy all the spots available out here. All kinds of spots. Chris noticed that there's plenty of room for us. Bye. 
Well, so far, this is pretty crazy. There was so much, I just stopped shooting video and only took pictures. Every time there was a turnout, that's where a trailer was. Uh, some places there were tents, but most of the time, trailers and trucks. People just kept going until there was an open spot. And this went on, and this went on, <laughs> and this went on. I kept taking photos. Sometimes I had to shoot out the back window with Cage sticking his head out the window so I could get a glimpse of all the different trailers in groups. Quite honestly, I think there were family reunions going on at every turnoff. So it was pretty cool. Uh, we saw all kinds of stuff there. It went on for about five miles. Five miles is when it cleared out. There were still cars, but uh, that's where we stopped. Pulled off, found a little spot, and decided to have lunch. And we drove ourselves a good, another good four or five miles out here, I think, to the middle of nowhere. Except for those. But literally, we're out here, I don't know, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Kind of give you a, a view there, right? We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's, it's also a main road. I'm going to show you. We've only been here like two minutes, and we're going to have lunch. And, uh, and while we're doing that, it's a uh, constant traffic. <laughs> Fake TV is going by. Holy cow. It's crazy. Look at that. So, uh, time to have lunch. At this point, we finished lunch and we turned around, headed back the way we came. We went back to the main campground and there was an alternate road on the way home. So we took it. So we're leaving Vernon Reservoir area and we're going to take an alternate way home. And we're going to see what kind of camping goes on out here in the alternate way home. It already looks like there are quite a few campers. So I'll take pictures of them as well as we head down our road. So this is pretty cool as well. On the way back out, gosh, it must have been at least another eight miles out. And uh, every turn off, every uh, bush being knocked down, every uh, side of the road that looks like a, a cow sat, that's where an RV was, or a tent, or a trailer. It was pretty cool. The big thing we pulled away from this is now we know where to camp when nobody's out there, since we've seen all the places that you can camp. I don't know what these people had in mind. There's no way I'd want to be out there in the middle of uh, this stuff going on when everybody and their brother's out there, and I'm sure everybody had a generator. But it was a fun way to spend the day. We got to see a lot of cool rigs and people having an awful lot of fun out in the great outdoors. Thanks for watching our video. This was fun to make. We had a great time. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up in the box below, and we'll see you next time.